Train volley. Two, two. I, <clears throat> I'm sorry, I mean two. Train two. volley two. Yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. This is a train puzzler. And it has over 50 levels bringing you through the various ages of human civilization ending with maps in the space age. The goal of the game is to fulfill orders from the city, which is kind of the nervous center of the entire map, and bring the materials, whether raw materials or industrial materials, to satisfy the citizens of the city. And you do that by building tracks as efficiently as possible to the various production sites, sending trains at the right time to bring workers there, to bring materials back, but then also sometimes bringing ingredients and materials to different mm -hmm. sites to create industrialized material you bring back to the city. The biggest catch is that you always need money to build more tracks, and you get that by getting orders back. So you have to think carefully about your timing and to make sure that the trains don't, um, how do we say this? Blow up. It, uh, un yeah. yeah, yeah, crash. Exactly. Yeah, explode. But there is a time limit to all the maps. That is, if you want to get all the five stars, there are always three things that you should evade in each level mm -hmm. to get all the stars. Mm -hmm. And you can pause or fast forward mm -hmm. in the levels if it's sometimes too slow. The pause especially makes this game feel very much like a puzzler because it's not its not super stressful. Mm -hmm. You have all the time you want to look at the situation and plan your next move, but you need to be very careful about the conditions of that map and thinking what's going to happen later on down the line. No pun intended. But you should know that some later levels, if you pause, you're going to lose that star. That's those ones are the, the killer. And another interesting mechanic is that you can decide if you want to upgrade your trains, which makes them faster. This, of course, spends some of your hard-earned money. And you have to be really careful about some trains moving faster than others if you're really trying to cut those corners. But this adds another level to the strategy. So the concept is quite simple, but it gets very complicated when you have lots of areas of production and the raw materials here have to get over there to produce the industrial equipment and you have to get workers there, all on tracks that you control and things can get messy very quickly. And you might think 50 levels is not a lot. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, each one is pretty hard, mm -hmm. but if it's not enough, you can go to workshops on Steam and to get over 2000 levels made by other people Plus, there's six official DLCs. So that gives you a general idea of what this game has to offer. The only question left is, should, should you, you crush it? it? Should you train it? Play it? Maybe. Probably, yeah. should you play it? Yeah. yeah. But first, you should know that this game is going to be completely free from the Epic Games Store the week starting July 13th, 2023. You can add it to your library, install it whenever you want. And that is what we do on this channel. We play and review every free weekly game from the Epic Games Store. We're up to about 340 yeah. now. It's a lot of games we reviewed. Yeah. So subscribe so you never have to be bored ever again. I took one look at this game and I thought, crap. I don't like trains. But this is not a game about trains. It's not a simulator. It's not a train tycoon. Mm -hmm. It is a puzzler that happens to use trains and train tracks as its key puzzle mechanic. And as a puzzler, it's engaging. It's not too frustrating. When I, f when I failed, I felt like it was fair and I wanted to try again. And I got really sucked into it. It's very mm -hmm. engaging. It's simple. Simple to play, but hard to master. That's a great puzzle game. So if you like puzzle games, and this is free, so... I'm going to give it a yes. I think okay. you should give it a try. I think you nailed it because if you would replace uh, trains with cars, it would be still the very same yeah. game. Or zoo uh, animals. Or... Yeah. I like trains in general, mm -hmm. train games, mm -hmm. but this one is really a puzzler. If you are expecting a realistic train game, this is not it. Also, if you are expecting a big maps, it's always one screen that you can zoom in mm -hmm. a lot, mm -hmm. but it's very small maps yeah. even further. So this is not definitely Transport Tycoon Deluxe. Yeah. This is super simple, just connecting tracks to the factories. Mm -hmm. And that doesn't sound like fun to me. It's more like work. And for the game that is about building tracks, I found the actual building track mechanics quite uh, weird. Sometimes I made a different loop than I was hard to control. To, so hard to control. Mm -hmm. as well. And I feels 
there's not much puzzler. It's just like which one goes first mm -hmm. okay. and not many other ways how you can finish the level. So I'm not planning to play it more. So no, I don't think you miss out if you skip this one. If you're looking for a game about trains that you can play with your friends, well, it's kind of a hidden gem. We also reviewed mm -hmm. Unrailed, which is about basically clearing the path for a train that's going to keep going no matter what you do. And you and ideally with friends have to do everything possible to clear the tracks and lay the tracks as the train is marching on to keep mm -hmm. it from exploding. It's a fun game, so mm -hmm. check that out next and hope to see you in another video. Bye! Bye.